Hey guys, what's up, it's Jacks the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft Alphacraft episode, and as always, I'm joined by IMR Wild One, who was hopping up from the va the fish barrels. Hey uh, guys, and we are in the Sunflower Plains Docklands today, standing in front of this beautiful Victorian factory that we built on stream last week. Yeah, so a few of you guys might recognize this build. However, we have added a few barrels to the front area, so it looks nice and spiffy. As well as that, we've added a little man fishing, haven't we? Yes! I want JJ, yeah. I wouldn't be going in the water. You're a fish right now. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, There's a fisherman here. <gasps> oh, he's got he pink shoes on, too. He what even has a little best fisherman kind hat. of fisherman wear yes. pink shoes? However, he hasn't had yes. much luck catching fish. He's only called a puffer fish. Uh, Unless oh. he's a pufferfish expert. Yes, that's true. Well, this <laughs> this in this um fishing spot, not only is a perfect fishing spot, but this is part of the newly established working class zone of our city. We've got some beautiful builds over that side, but every city needs a cheaper section, and this is it. We're going to be having some more factories over here. Yep, over as here, well just as some, Yes, as well as some working class accommodation up on this little hill here as well as that they're gonna be all crumbling and decrepit on the opposite side of the spectrum all the way over there on the opposite side of the lake and on the opposite side of the spectrum we are going to be having a um a high class mansion victorian victorian style mansion area right over there it's gonna be yes, so it's pretty going isn't to look it magnificent oh we're going to have all the parts of a necessary city working class high class and middle class perfect Just what you need jj well, well, I think we have some important stuff to do over the community build. So let's whiz over there. And, well, we, we have some important stuff to show, actually. And some, yeah, yes. and some, some important stuff to do under the community build. That I bet you that it confuses a few people, doesn't it? <laughs> let's get going, JJ. Yep. Oh, guys, you might be what looking to the side here. You might see this giant wool wall. Don't worry, we're not going crazy building giant wool walls. We are building these so when when you have a look at these facades, it looks like they are full buildings because we can't actually build it the full building width of how, I, don't, I think it's like 25 blocks sometimes we have ours. Just because um, Pigglesworth's wall is just right there, but we still want it to look like it's a city. So we've added in the facades with some wall behind it, and on the back so it doesn't look bad with Pigglesworth, we also added in the city back. So you can see we've got some cobble here, some stone brick, and some sandstone. Yes, they're extremely thin buildings, but they look great from the front, front which is what we and need. And the back. Yes, all over the place. They're just great buildings. Yep. They look a bit strange from the top, though. <laughs> but luckily, oh, we yes, can't see that. flying over would be shocked at how thin they are. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look at what's inside of this community. No, City Hall. It's very exciting, yes, isn't it, Wild? Da, da. Ooh, JJ! So you guys, right down the so end. You, guys, you guys remember all of these amazing people, all these amazing patrons. Well, we have a new amazing patron, Lazy Isabella. Welcome to the patron, the legend community, the legend family. Yes, it's so exciting to have you on the server and in Discord, and it's going to be great hanging out with you. Thank so you so thank much, you so for much your Lazy support. Isabella, and <laughs> thank you to all our beautiful patrons. Yeah. So now we, we we should probably decorate this area, but we can't do that at the moment because we have something very or something else very exciting to show, don't we? Yes, so this is such a magnificently big project that is going to be needing some magnificently big planning and supplies. But do you know where we can store those supplies and start our planning <gasps> wild? Dun, dun, oh dear! Dun, dun, dun. This way, JJ. You've got you've oh, done two dun dun duns. We need a dun 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 counter. <laughs> 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 Down we go. Down oh, we go. Before we run inside, we have this really giant hole here. And this is an important giant hole because something really, really fantastic so is going exciting. to be going in it. It's so exciting. super exciting. And um, it's coming very, very soon, hopefully. Do you know what else is really exciting? A little less exciting than this. We have completely moved houses. Whee! Look at that. Welcome to our new humble abode. This here is our newly organized and super storage center. It yes. is um, 
It's the storage center that there ever was. Storage stand center. However, don't look in yes. this chest here, Wild, because there's a dumper chest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we've got a new storage center. Um, but I'm still trying to get used to it because Wild has decided to organize this, and I wasn't really part of the whole organizing process, so I still have to work he out where everything is. He was carting all the stuff. I was carting all the stuff because there is a and load of stuff. I was putting it away. Yes, there certainly is. It was many, many trips back and forth from our house, but it's really paid off. We have way much. We have so much more storage than we had before. But wild, JJ. wild. Do you know what else it has a lot of storage? My esky. Look at my new esky, wild. And look how blue Woo! and fabulous it is, and look at the shiny things inside of it. Dun dun dun. That, that was three? dun 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 number three. <laughs> number three. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to grab out some Ooh. of the stuff from my esky because I'm going to be um, wanting it. I don't... Wait, what else? Yeah, I'll grab, yep. I'm grabbing that out and I'll grab that. You got everything you need, JJ. I got everything I need. Speaking of having shiny pie. stuff in your esky, there's shiny stuff in this room here. Welcome to the it next really room is. of our super fancy new home. This is the enchanting and... The um, enchanting. Brewery. What, what is... Brewer, brewer, the brewery and the... Um, <laughs> Oh, wild, 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 wild. If, if this was, if, if this was placed inside my esky, it'd be a brrrr <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. And this here is a valuable from spot. That. that was terrible. Yes, it is the valuable spot. Oh, it's got a bit more space than our last one. That means more valuables. More valuables. More valuables, yes. the better. We've even got our yes. dragon head. We need to grab a lever wild. Ooh. Well, we've got to do that now. We have to do that now. Okay. It's important. That's under the redstone chest. Redstone chest. Got a lever. Keep going. Over. Awesome. Um, I don't have a silk. This isn't silk touch. I'll just put it on top. Put the lever on top. On top. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really funny. Okay, moving on. So if we head down here, we have our main sort of backup storage area. And then in These here, we... The head's over here. So heads, we need got... so many spaces for heads that this is where we're going to keep them all. Although I don't think there's oh, many this is, this now. They're all back at the old place. <laughs> yes, we need about 20 shulker loads just to yep. bring them all over. Especially because um, with play heads, it depends on how the login session, if they're stackable. See, these won't stack even though they're the same head. So like mm -hmm. a bunch of them can, like only a few heads can fit into a ch chest at a time. But um, yes. as well as Tricky that, we, heads. we have backup storage. And of course, if we turn around, we have our Whee! special rooms. So we have pink for Wild, so that's her favorite color. And I've got the sign such blue, blue room. Jay. Look at my oh, little blue sheepo. Oh, and you know what's my favorite part about these, JJ? What? Oh, Come in here. Is it? Wait, wow, I think I know what it is. It's the it's bottom button. button. Bottom these button. are buttons. Be be when you get bored. Be 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 you have bored and buttons in your room, too. I do? Okay, I want to go try mine. <laughs> Okay, so wow, do you know what's there's even one more, more thing we have to yes, show off in here? That's here, even yeah. more exciting than boredom buttons. It is down, down this, this tunnel. hallway. This amazing this tunnel. It's a very special tunnel. It's very ice. Icy, isn't it? It's mysterious. Come on, let's stop shift walking. It's taking a long time and it's Annoying. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> well, if we head in here, we have a humongous Through cleared out gates. space. And we're going to be turning this into a very special zone. But for this very special zone, Wild, we're going to need a load a of snow. A lot of snow. Yes, this is going to be JJ's brand new, new? ice cave. Ice bear cave, cave bear ice thing. Yes. <laughs> And we're going to need so a lot of snow. So we've got a massive area that we need to cover with snow because we are going to be doing lots of different things in here, including a snowy landscape. Because yes, you can't have an ice cave without ice. We've still got a few things to do, but we really need to get that snow started. So I thought, I, Mark, I could make a little snow device and maybe you could decorate it. <gasps> that sounds like a great idea, JJ. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah. We could decorate it as an ice bar. That's a great idea as well. We're all both Perfect having great you. ideas, okay. aren't we? Okay. okay. Let's grab the materials Let's and, get and the then we can stuff. do that. Yep. Okay, so I'm just running back now because I grabbed some materials. Oh, I need to eat some pumpkin pie. 
And I believe Wild has... Yep, yeah, I think she's chosen out a spot for the bar. Ooh. Have you, Wild? Have you yes. found a good spot? I thought this is the perfect spot as it's kind of in a little tucked corner. And I've cut out this area in the top for a kind of outline of where I want my bar to go. Awesome. Okay, and I'm going to be building a snow farm behind this in a sort of tutorial style. So if any of you guys are wondering how to build a snow farm, this is a video for you. <laughs> Okay. So Wild, let's where is your bar going to go? Because that oh. depends on where my farm goes. Boop, 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 boop. Something okay. like this. So I'll place Not my my guy a little here, my little guy here. Mhm. Mm so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this block here and replace it with a block that can't be broken by a really good shovel. Because if I have say dirt there, my efficiency five shovel is gonna break it. So I'm gonna place cobble there or any sort of block that doesn't can't be broken by a shovel. Um, then I'm going to be placing a minecart on top of it, and directly next. Well, don't push my minecart, please. Well, oh, please. <laughs> sorry, <Okay>. JJ. <laughs> then I'm going to be placing two snow blocks next to it, with a carved pumpkin on top, so I make a snowman. I push the snowman into Ooh, the minecart. Oh, hello, Frosty. Now it takes a little while to push him in, so don't panic if it takes if it takes you a few minutes. Then once you've done that, he might go off the minecart, off the track a little bit, so push him back on, just like that. And if you want, here you can shear his head. Now, what that does is it gives him a nice little cute smile. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, so now that and he's nice and white, which will match yes. with the colour scheme of this lovely ice kind of cave. Yes, ice cave. But then once we've done that, we're going to break two blocks behind that block that we placed. And a wild is going to go into it. <laughs> Just like that. And then one block behind that. So you go to the staircase. Place a cobblestone slab here. And then you'll have a block up. And then you can even place two cobblestone slabs here and here. If you want or any sort of slab just so you get a bit of a walkway now i'm just going to place a cobble here because cobble is a block that kind of looks good anywhere really it is it matches with everything matches with the cave walls in this um sort of instinct um it does so there you have an automatic oh no no not yet now once you've done that you, all you have to do is break this rail down here and then you can see the snow will start forming so what you have to do is grab out your shovel and then just break that snow Dun, da, da, da. Easy. That's super Anyone easy. can make an automatic a snow farm. That way, you can make infinite snow. Now, the main, you might be wondering, Jax, why did you do it in a minecart? Well, most people in building a snow farm, this is the other way of doing it, would place, say, a ring around the snowman. Not a ring around Rosie. <laughs> ring around the snowman, so he can't move. But doing it in the minecart ah. way gives a much more aesthetic feel. Oh, no, I pushed him. And it's perfect when you're trying to disguise your ice farm with something like this, where you don't want to be able to see the fact that there's an ice farm there. Yeah, so snow right farm. now it looks like, yes, no farm. <laughs> Keep on getting that muddled up. Um, oh, so my right hat. now, we are just getting, we are just, uh, so right now it just looks like he's a bartender, but when we go back needing some snow, he's going to be our snow deliverer. Oh, I dropped my... Yeah! Bubble. Now, Wild, would you like Wild to explain what you're doing here? Oh, I am making some perfect... Um, blue pastel. And to make these, we're using armor stands, and then we are lowering them, lowering them into the ground. But first, you have to turn gravity off, because otherwise, they go a whack. We don't want that. Now, we're then, using a, um, a plugin to do this on the server. I actually know a data pack, and you can actually grab that as well. There's a multiple data packs out here, but I believe you can replicate a similar thing by lowering them into the ground halfway. And then like just pushing a block into them like that. Oh, wow, this one's gone down slightly a bit more. It looks a bit I know, I'm about to move these ones down. I was demonstrating your point. But yes, yeah, so so you can do this, um, I believe, with a piston, pushing them into the block. Yeah, so no, what, what, would you, what you would do is you'd grab your armor stand. What, have you got a spare armor stand? No. That's a pumpkin. <laughs> is that what you oh, do? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Hang Say, on. Wild, could you come here? I'll, I'll explain <laughs> it. My armor stands blah, blah, blah. in the ground. Wild, come here. Hang on, hang on, hang okay, on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> hang on. Well, I'm having armor stand problem. Okay, come here now, Wild. Oh, while you just, okay. Before you do that. Yes. So, Wild, stand like an armor stand. Yep, there you go. So, say the Wild's your armor stand. What you would do is you would lower her into the ground one. You just gotta move forward a little bit once so you go in. <laughs> yep. Then you'd grab a piston, place it right here. Are you gonna be the piston? And you'd power the piston and it would basically push it so the bottom of the armor stand is engulfed um, with your dirt block or whatever block you want. I can't do that in, real life, in, uh, yeah. in Minecraft, unfortunately. <laughs> but with this, it's really useful. You use a flint from, you know, like a flint and steel, and then 
You can you slightly can lower it adjust down. Them. Yeah, boop, so you can lower boop, it down boop, slowly boop. like this, or you can lower it down quickly. We're going to be lowering it down slowly so we get that exact sort of feel that we want. Yes, we want the kind of arm parts of the armor stand to be like legs of the chairs. Perfect. Just like that. That I one, think this that one needs to go down a little bit wild, I reckon. Oh, I think so too. Oh, and you know what else we need? We need some food you wild. Well, yes, you can't have an ice bar without a menu. So let's put a little menu across the top here. Now we're going to be... We have, I think we've got about four foods, haven't we, Wild? I think we're missing one, aren't we? I think we need one food, yes. don't we? So All while, right. while we list the food, think of some cool ice food names. And make sure to leave that in the comment section down below. And we might add yours in the next episode. Yes, so we would here, love some advice. So here are the different types of food. We have ice cream, snowkin pie... Ice box cookies and then snow cake. Snow cake! Snow cake. <laughs> oh, and behind the bar here. Yes. We didn't add a door, JJ. This is oh. going to be. A... We should probably add. We Back should, we here. Should... Oh, well, I have an idea. Hold on. Yes. We'll add a door in there and we'll put some fence gates. Oh, that's a nice idea. We even have some little kegs. Some kegs. Kegs is such a weird name. Barrels. Barrels are perfect for that, aren't did, they? Did you know the little tuning there knobs on guitars Roman? are called gags? I didn't. I forgot they had a name until someone reminded me the so other day. so random. <laughs> but like keg gag, same sort of thing. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> oh, that looks that great, looks JJ. Incredible, doesn't it? Yeah. We have so many more things that we need to add into this ice cave of yours, and this is the perfect start because it's going to help us build them. Yeah, with all the snow. But wild. I think we should um have a look at what we have to do upstairs in the community hall and grab some materials for that. I agree, JJ. There's such a lot of space up there, and there's so many grand plans for up there that we, we better get some grand supplies. Yep, let's grab those. Okay, so I've now grabbed some shulkers, as you can... Oh, wrong, scrolling wrong way. And you can see we have multiple colors of shulkers here with more, tons of supplies, and Wild even has some more. Yes, we have so many things that we need to decorate the inside of this beautiful city hall. We have so, but, we have so, you know, JJ... Yeah. This is such a magnificent um, build that I think it's going to need a whole video of its own, don't you? Yes, definitely, because of how giant it is. So, yes. that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave we'll a like, see. comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the community, oh no, the city hall, in next episode. So, see you, see guys. you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated! Stay carbonated.